summer between my junior and senior year of college. Uh, Steve Malkay, he I've been working with him uh, out here at Shawnee Country Club for about the last two and a half years. And uh, Steve basically looked at me and he said, you know, Dylan, to play professionally for the rest of your life, you, you need to get in shape. You need to present yourself to people in a proper manner. And he said, you don't do that right now. And uh, it was a reality check. Did you fight him right away? I uh, didn't fight him right <laughs> away. No, uh, no, a little bit of an argument there, yeah, but yeah. Uh, d definitely a little bit hostile towards him at that point in time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I realized very quickly that he was right. Um, you know, I, I had a lot of work to do, uh, not only on a personal level, but on a relationship level with everybody else. And uh, losing all the body weight and uh, being a little bit more clean cut, it uh, helped me breed a little bit more confidence. Um, it helped me, obviously, on the golf course. Mm -hmm. Dramatic changes on the golf course. Uh, golf swing got better. Uh, wasn't, wasn't tired, wasn't fatigued. Um, was always able to do more with the golf swing. Um, I would find points in time in high school, especially where I was a little bit winded after the 18-hole <laughs> walk, you know, and uh, I was heavy. Um, but, but hearing that um, suggestion from somebody of that stature, uh, Steve's a phenomenal swing coach. I mean, he's been rated the best in Ohio several times. Um, and to, to hear it from somebody of that stature really, really rocks your world. I mean, it really makes you understand that, look, he, he, he has your best interest at heart. Right. A few years later, you've got that healthy lifestyle still, and as we were talking, you said, I notice when, I'm, when I eat one thing that's bad, just kind of promote that healthy lifestyle and how it does make you feel better all the time. I'll tell you, I, I, I feel great. I mean, I, I, it's been a blessing for me because I have not been sick in the last year and a half. Wow. Um, I have not had a day where I really just, you know, needed to lay in bed because I didn't feel good. Um, eating the proper food and, and, and training not only your mind but your body to perform at the same level it's it's been it's been a phenomenal blessing um it's been a big change very dramatic um it's 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 not a diet i'll tell you that it's not a diet um people always get kind of hung up on the concept of the diet mm -hmm. but uh it's a lifestyle change it's a commitment and and it, a lot of people are scared of that commitment I, know, I was scared of that sure. commitment, for sure. Um, I mean, I had my best friend, Nate Webb, uh, mm -hmm. who used to play at St. John's, basketball, baseball, football, really right. good athlete. Um, he's my best friend. Um, he, he changed me. Mm -hmm. and he basically told me, look, he said, this is what you're going to have to do. And he said, you know, being committed to this process, it'll change your life. And I didn't, once again, you know, <laughs> Old Dylan, he, he, <laughs> Old Dylan. He, he, uh, he didn't believe him. He, he, wanted, uh, he wanted to fight. He wanted to have, a, have an argument. And uh, I realized now that it was the best decision of my life. You talk about the old Dylan, and, and you said, I've lost so many friends from high school because of how I treated people. But that has changed dramatically the last few years, how relationships are so vital to just everyday living. Absolutely. Uh, the relationship is, is the most important thing in life. Um, you know, we had a phenomenal lunch conversation today about, you know, it's about other people. This past summer, you were kind of going through some struggles, had lost uh, a couple people that are very important to you in mm -hmm. your life, and you were facing graduation coming up soon. You didn't know what your life would be next, and then you went to church. Kind of take us from that moment on and what happened. You know, I, I went to uh, church with Grandma in the middle of July of, of this last year. 2013 and uh, it was a rough time. I, I, I was in grad school. I was taking six classes, um, practicing, trying to play as much as I could. Um, I was frustrated with my golf game. I was frustrated with where I was headed in life and I didn't have a vision. I didn't have a dream. I had always, uh, always kind of had the inkling that I was, could be or potentially had the potential at least to play at the next level. Um, but I wasn't committed. Um, I wasn't committed to God. I wasn't committed to the process of achieving my vision, achieving my dream, um, or in a sense, making my dream a reality. And uh, I had a long talk with God that afternoon in church. I was, I was struggling. I was, at, I was at one of the lowest lows that I've been at. And uh, I mean, I had done all this work. I had accomplished all these changes physically, mm -hmm. mentally I wasn't there. Um, I had no vision, no dream. And you know, I told myself I want to be 
120% committed to playing professionally. And, and it had always been a dream that had been talked about. Um, it had always been something that mom and dad and I had discussed forever. <laughs> um, but I wasn't ready. Um, I wasn't ready spiritually. I wasn't ready mentally. Physically, I was getting there, um, but I wasn't even in as good a shape then as I am now um, because I wasn't 120% committed.